Hey, what's up neighbors, Double A Flair here, bring you another Destiny video. In today's video, I'm going to go over Zer's location and stock for the week. His location being across from the speaker. So, Zer has brought the Helm of the Saint 14 for the Titan. Uh, it's made for being Ward of the Unblind's enemies who enter it. This is a very good uh, Titan exotic, probably one of the best ones. By far the best helmet. Um, blinding enemies who enter your bubble is very useful in PvE. Uh, helping you in a bit when you're in a pickle, when you're low on health, or etc. Uh, in PvP, it helps you when you're trying to capture a zone, or uh, in Trials of Osiris, when you want to group up and get some Blessing of Light, or the last person alive, and you can set Armor of Light and be protected. So if you do not have this Selma yet, I really recommend picking it up. It is one of the best Titan exotics in the game. Next we have Young Ahamkara Spine, this being an exotic gauntlet for the Hunter. Uh, it's it's pretty mediocre, it doesn't have the greatest perk treat. Mine grenade lasts longer when placed, so it lasts two times longer. Um, you can have two trip mine grenades up at the same time because of this perk, but it's not very useful. Uh, so if you do not have it yet, you can pick it up if you want, but I do not recommend getting it. Next, we have the Obsidian Mine, which is the best uh, Voidwalker, actually, probably not anymore, but it is one of the best Voidwalker uh, exotics in the game. So what it does is Nova Bomb kills reduce the cooldown of your next Nova Bomb, meaning if you kill a lot of enemies with your Nova Bomb, you'll have your Nova Bomb again right after. So this is very good in PvE against in the Thrall uh, room or the Abyss in Crota's End or... Uh, if there's a bunch of enemies grouped up together in Prison of Elders or any other activity. In PvP, this is good because if getting three kills boosts your super up to about a quarter uh, after getting your three kills. So you'll be 25% way back up to your next Nova Bomb. So if you do not have this yet, I really recommend picking it up. By far, one of the best Warlock exotics in the game. Uh, the weapon of the week is the Mida Multi-Tool. Uh, its main perk being this weapon boosts move speed and fires on a hair trigger. So the main uh, thing about this weapon is that you get to move very fast uh, when you have it equipped. Due to the fact that it's got lightweight and the Mida Multi-Tool perk. Uh, it's It's got an average impact uh, and high rate of fire. So, I mean, it's not the greatest scout rifle in the game, but because of its third eye and high movement speed it's a great weapon for pvp so if you don't have it yet um i recommend picking it up it's a pretty good weapon uh otherwise if you don't if you don't want to then just pass so there's also bring a strange coin uh, exotic shard for seven strange coins and an exotic chess piece in gram meaning you could try and get the uh the new warlock exotic which i already have so I won't be buying any of those. For Kyrios, he's bringing Scout Rifle Telemetry, Hand Cannon Telemetry, Shotgun Telemetry, a Plasma Drive, Emerald Coil, and five Heavy Ammo Synthesis for one Strange Coin. He's also exchanging two Strange Coins for mo one Mote of Light. This has been Zer for the week. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like and subscribe for future Destiny content. This has been AA Flare. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.